Hey y'all, it's me, Serena, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. On Style with Serena, I do fashion, lifestyle, and health and beauty videos every single week. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, be sure to hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss anything new, and give my video a thumbs up if you like it. And yes, I know I was late this week with Walmart Wednesday. Uh, but I had to rearrange the timing uh, of videos because I had another box that came in that I had to had to ship back out. But this is Walmart Friday. And um, so this is something that a couple of different people have asked me to do. And that is a video all about coats and jackets. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six different coats and jackets. To share with you guys most of them are from walmart i have a couple that are not but uh, most of them are and i've tried to pick a variety of different styles you know a little bit dressy a little you know more casual to dressy heavy not so heavy i tried to you know get a little smattering of everything so um, to get started we're going to start with the time and true packable puffer jacket so this jacket comes in several colors i've seen a couple of different colors uh, in store but online it comes in many more colors like lots more and it's only 24.98 and it is a synthetic down so it's not um, true down if you have allergies or anything like that and i ordered it in this kind of grayish it's kind of a bluish gray, but I would call it gray. I forget the name that they had for it. It's got pockets here um, on the sides that are really easy to put your hands into, and they zip if you need to zip them up and keep anything in there. And the nice thing about the pockets is they're lined with fleece. So they're real cozy. You stick your hands in there even if you don't have gloves on. Uh, the fleece is really warm and it instantly warms your hands up. I like this jacket because of the length of it. I'm wearing a size small and, and I ordered a small in all these. Um, I don't think that was for the best. You'll see why in a minute. But I did that based on um, the size I wear in tops. In time and true, I'm pretty much a size small across the board. So I ordered small in these coats. Now, the sleeves are okay on me. They're a tad bit long, but, you know, I'm used to that unless I get a petite coat. Um, and it does have a hood that is detachable. The hood, it comes up, you know, so if it's raining a little bit or snowing or whatever, you do have a hood. But it just zips off. So if you don't want the hood on there, you can zip it off and then you just have this little stand up collar. Um, whoops, lay down there, hood. But here it is. I like it because it's not overly puffy. It's a more streamlined puffer jacket. It kind of comes in here at your waist. And it really does fit me perfectly with one exception. And that is right here at the bust. I mean, I love the way it fits down here. It fits great down here across my hips. It's, uh, it's even okay through the shoulders. It's just right here across the bust when I zip it. Um, see what I mean? It like stretches out all the puffiness and makes this part, I don't know. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm talking about, but it just looks like it's not quite the right size. Now, if you're not as busty as I am, I would say just go ahead and order your normal size. But if you live somewhere where you know you're going to be wearing a heavy sweater or fleece or something like that underneath this jacket, I would say go ahead and size up one. Um, and that should do just fine for you. It depends on how you want to wear it. Um, and it has instructions right here inside. There's this little pouch right here and it shows you how you can fold it up and pack it in there. It's supposed to, it, it didn't come folded up when I ordered it, but you can fold it up and pack it away 
into that little pouch to make it easier to manage when you're traveling. But here's the, um, the hood. Well, here's the collar, and here is the zipper that attaches the hood. So if you don't want that, you could just zip that right off. So for $24.98, I think it's an excellent buy. I think it's excellent quality for that price. And like I said, it comes in a lot of different colors. So um, if you see this in your store and you don't like the color offerings that they have, be sure to go online. And as always, I'll have everything linked down below so that you can pick your uh, color and size that you need to. Okay, this next jacket is one that you guys have seen before, but I thought since I was doing all jackets, I would throw it in uh, this video as well for those of you who haven't seen it. This is by Time and True. I also picked this up locally in my store back a few weeks ago, and it was only $19.98. So yeah, less than $20. Um, it is made of cotton, like a really soft brushed cotton, and it has this collar that just not exactly a stand-up collar but it just lays like that and it's quilted you see the quilting goes all the way through this is a lightweight jacket but it's really soft and cozy i had this jacket on um, this morning when i stepped outside to stand on the porch while my son went and waited for the bus across the corner from us so i just go out there and stand and watch and make sure that he gets on the bus okay and everything and it was so cozy and warm and then i came back in and i was still chilly so i got my coffee and i just sat you know i was doing some things on the computer and i just sat with this jacket on for a while so it's very comfy even to just <laughs> wear around your house if you wanted to because it's it's just i don't know it's not like a sweatshirt but it kind of just has that same feel it's just cozy it's easy to wear it's soft it has some stretch to it now this jacket um it does run big it has this kind of boxy shape and i actually went down a size in this one this is an extra small and i probably would never um snap this all the way up but it does if I need it to it does snap and still fits but this is a great jacket to have and for $19.98 I mean you really can't beat it and I think it did come in some different colors maybe a black so I'll have it linked below for you guys if you want to check this one out as well Okay, this little jacket has received a lot of attention on YouTube and elsewhere. Some people call it the, the teddy bear jacket, but it is this faux Sherpa-ish, you know, bumpy jacket, kind of like a fleece. The inside of it does feel like micro fleece, and then the, the exterior is just this nubby stuff. And it doesn't have a hood. It's just got this stand-up collar. It zips. Got a couple of pockets here on the sides. And it also has these um, drawstring toggle things here at the waist. So you can slide these little toggles and cinch in the waist to give you a little bit of a shape there. And the nice thing about this jacket is it does go down um, past the booty down it comes you know mid thigh on me and so at least when you're outside somewhere cold if or if you're at a tailgate or a ball game or whatever and you're sitting down you've got something underneath you to sit on so <laughs> you're not just sitting down on bleachers or something cold with just your pants between you and the bleachers you've got a, a layer of fleece uh, that helps keep you warm and at $24.98 I think this jacket is a fantastic deal and I am wearing a small in this and I think it fits just right. 
Um, I probably wouldn't be able to put a thick heavy sweater underneath it. It might be a little tight, but this is a lighter jacket, so I'm probably not going to be wearing a, a thick sweater on underneath this anyway. So for my purposes in this jacket, I think the small is just right. If you want something roomier to layer up with bigger items underneath, you might want to go with one size up. Okay, this jacket well, it's a coat. It's not a jacket. This is a coat. And this is a coat that I think every woman needs in their closet. And that is a classic pea coat. And this one is by Time and True. And it was $50 or $49.98, whatever. And um, I got it in this navy color to show you guys. But this coat comes in multiple colors. It, they have it in black, camel, um, a bright bubblegum pink that's really fun. It might come in red. I don't remember, but it comes in multiple, multiple colors. Um, I'm wearing this in a size small, and I just want to show you um, the fabric up close. They call this faux wool, and it does feel like a wool. It's that really densely woven fabric, but it is completely synthetic. There's no wool in it at all. So if you're um, sensitive to wool like I am, you don't have to worry about any part of this being itchy. It does have some nice details like here on the sleeves. You got the little uh, button cuff detail there. And you can do this. But unlike, and it's got the, sorry about my mic there. It does have the faux buttonhole right here. You know, most peacoats, they have um, a buttonhole here on this flap, and you can tuck this and fold it over, and there's a button underneath this collar where you could actually button this. Well, this coat does not have the button under there, and this buttonhole is faux. So that's just for looks. So you can still fold it up if you need to, but nothing's going to hold it there. Uh, but it does have the double-breasted style. It's the six button. You got slash pockets right here. And it comes to a really nice length. Of course, I'm short, but it hits me right above my knee. So this jacket or this coat comes all the way down. And um, so it's going to keep your rear end warm. I know mine gets cold sometimes when I wear a short jacket if I'm outside for any length of time. This one comes all the way down, almost to my knees. It does have a walking pleat in the back. Um, I have it's still tacked together with the stitches at the bottom, so that's why it may look kind of funny. I haven't un I haven't clipped the threads down there yet. But this is just a classic coat, uh, like I said, that every woman needs in her closet. I actually have a red one by another brand that I've had for a couple of years, um, but this one is lovely and like I said comes in a ton of colors and for $50 you really can't beat the price of something like this that is so classic never goes out of style and you can really wear it with anything dressed up dressed down great coat for for winter great coat for no matter what the occasion is and this one is even long enough that you could wear it with um, if you had on a skirt that wasn't you know, past your knees, you could wear this skirt, this coat with that skirt and it would look great too. You wouldn't have to have a super long coat. All right, moving on. This jacket also falls into that category of jackets or coats that every woman needs and that is a classic trench coat. Yes, a classic khaki trench coat just levels up any outfit that you put it on with and really it's the perfect jacket to wear when it's rainy it's drizzly you need a topper of some kind but you don't need a full heavy winter coat so i wear this one in the winter when it's not cold here in the south which is a lot of days i can wear this i wear it through the spring you can really wear this kind of jacket any time this one um, is not from uh, Walmart I've had this one for a couple of years but I've, it's from Banana Republic but I found one very very similar that's on sale 
uh, at J. Crew Factory. So that's the one that I'm going to link down below. And in this jacket, I have to get a petite because the uh, regular lengths, the sleeves are just always too long and they don't look right on me. So uh, this is a petite and J. Crew Factory also offers petites. So that's why I picked them to link uh, something similar. But this has all your uh, traditional trench coat styling. And these, as you see, they do have real, this one has real buttonholes and buttons here. So you can cross this over if needed and button that down if you need something up tighter around your neck. Uh, it has the buckle here and little holes. You can thread the buckle that way, but most of the time I just tie it like this. It's got the kick pleat here in the back. And you know, if you want to, and, and I do this quite often, if it's not that cool and you don't need to have it buttoned up, I will leave this unbuttoned and I will tie the belt in a little knot here in the back. And that just kind of keeps, it kind of nips it in here at your waist. You just tie that in a knot back there behind you. And that way you can wear it open, just almost like a long blazer. I mean, it's not, but it almost has that same effect. And I do that a lot of the time, especially if I'm going to be going in and out, getting out of the car a lot. You know, I don't need, don't need it buttoned up tight. I'll wear it like this. And I think this is a super chic look as well. Just another coat that all ladies need to have in their closet. A classic khaki trench coat. Okay, last coat that I'm going to share with you guys. This uh, is one that I found on the J. Crew Factory website, and they're calling this the City Puffer Coat. And what really uh, caught my eye about this jacket was all the fun colors that it comes in. It comes in navy, black, this beautiful deep... Uh, garnet red color it comes in a green um, just beautiful colors and then the inside of this one has this fun uh, bright fuchsia lining and it's a lightweight puffer it's it is quilted i don't know if you can see here it's got the quilting design and um it's not super thick and heavy but you can tell it's going to be really warm it doesn't come with um a hood it does have this stand-up collar it has a zipper and snaps and i ordered this in a petite medium i mean petite small excuse me and um that was a mistake because i really should have gotten a petite medium because this one while i can snap it it's just not big enough it's really tight at the bust and it doesn't leave me a lot of room in the shoulders and everything. So if I decide to keep this one, which I really like it, um, I'm going to swap it for a petite medium. So ju just so you know, if you're ordering, if you need to order a petite, go up a size in the petite. But I really like this jacket. This one kind of bridges the gap between, you know, your super, uh, super casual puffer jackets or fleece jackets and the fancier or more chic, you know, pea coat or uh, what did I just have on? Trench coat. Blah, can't think. So this one is kind of in between, you know, and I guess that's why they call it the city puffer. It is a puffer jacket. It's a little more casual, but it's polished enough that, you know, you can put it on with, um, you know, something a little bit more dressy and not look completely out of place. And I do like this one a lot. Like I said, the main thing I love is the color. The color is just beautiful. It's such a beautiful red and it comes in a royal blue. It's really pretty, just really fun colors. So... 
Anyway, that is my wrap up today of coats and jackets. I hope you found this helpful. And like, like always, I will have everything that I've tried on here linked down below so you guys can do some easy shopping if you're in the market for any of these coats or jackets. Use my links. I would really appreciate that. And, and that also makes it easier for you. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that too. And until I see you guys in my next video, have a stylish day. Bye-bye.